let's get to the videos. Excuse me. Here Excuse me. My name is David Westcott. My wife, Carol Westcott, was just brought in. Just one minute, please. Yes, ma'am. Yes. What's the... Yes. Well, there's a three-hour wait today, ma'am. I'm very sorry. We're very busy. I'm not, look, I'm not here visiting. She was brought in an emergency. I'm not here. Sir, you're going to have to wait one more minute. I... Okay. Bring her in, and we'll see what we can do. No, I understand. Yes, just bring her in. That's fine. Doctor, yeah, uh, can I talk to you for a second? Nora, come on. We're going to miss the beginning of the movie. You really want to see it. Seriously, Rachel, you've really got to try it. It's a great way to meet guys. I mean, everyone is finding dates online these days. Where are my silly glasses? I already told you I'm not interested. Now let's go. I'm going to sign you up. Once you try it, you'll like it. Nora. OK, whatever. Let's just go. We're going to be late. Oh, I think I left them upstairs. You are so annoying. You have two minutes. You're already 30. You need to find someone before you're too old to have kids and all your eggs expire. Why don't you worry about yourself and your own eggs, Nora? Oh my, it's David. I, I have to take this. <sighs> Hi, David. Hi, Rachel. I'm sorry to call you so late. It's, um... Well, I'm at the hospital. Oh, are you hurt? No, it's Carol. She, um, well, she, she was pouring herself a cup of coffee and she just collapsed. Oh, my God, how horrible. Listen, I hate to put you out, but I was wondering if you could call John Price and reschedule the appointment for tomorrow. Oh, no problem. I, I have his home number written down at the office. I'll, I'll go right now and, and, and I'll let him know what's going on. And could you call Judith after you speak to him and make sure that she's aware of the change? And when you get in tomorrow, I'll just reschedule the whole day because I don't think I'll be in. Okay. Is there anything else I can do? No, I, I've uh... I called Carol's cousin, Mary Beth. She's going to come up from Richmond, but not until tomorrow. To help out with Isabel, but... Is she there with you? Yeah, I, I had no choice. I mean, this all happened so suddenly, I couldn't leave her home alone. She's, uh... She's asleep right now, so... Thank you so much. No, no, not at all. I, I just... I hope she's okay. Bye. Bye. What's going on? Oh, I, I can't go to the movies, Nora. I, I have to run to the office. Rachel? Well, why don't I go with you and then we can make the 10.30 show? No, this is going to take all evening. No, it won't. Nora, there are things at my job that my boss only trusts me to do. He needs me. Oh, for crying out loud, we can see the movie some other night. I guess, I guess. Maybe we could see it Wednesday evening and grab a bite. What do you think? Rachel, uh, you've probably heard from David by now that Carol's in the hospital, so he won't be coming into work tomorrow. Uh, I spoke with John Price, and he's going to let me know when he can reschedule. Once he does, I'll email you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, you're probably in a Pilates class. God forbid you don't look perfect. Abandon you at a time like this? 
<laughs> Here. Oh. One cream, one sugar, just the way you like it. Thank you. Oh, um, I spoke with John Price. He sends his best. Mm, good. So how is she? Uh, she's she's in intensive care. We're just waiting for some test results. Mm. Hi. Hey. Look who's here. Oh, hi. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Thank you. You, you. you didn't have to come. David, come on. We've worked together for three years. You're like family. She's exhausted, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Hey, David, why don't you just let me take her home? I'll tuck her in. I'll make sure she gets to school in the morning. Okay. <laughs> well, Rachel will take you home. Here, let me let me give you a key. Oh, I already have one, remember? Right. Right. Okay, well, thank you so much. Come here. Okay. I don't know what I'd do without you, Rachel. <sighs> okay, sweet dreams. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Izzy's birthday, Izzy's birth, summer picnic. Let's back up. Okay. Oh, wait, let's see if it falls off. Okay. okay we're safe. We're safe. Okay. We're safe. Mom's in a video. Woo! The video. Finally. The monkey. So what's for dinner, Mom? We got the chicken, the delicious coleslaw. Honey, come on over. The water. Perfect. Izzy, your mom went out and got all this today. Oh, this is so good. Cheers to Mom. Cheers to Mommy. Cheers, Mommy. I love you, Carol. I love you, Mommy. Love you too, David. Today. Oh my gosh! You're gonna have fun. You did a very good job. Here, give me a. <laughs> good. Okay. Have fun. You have a beautiful daughter. Oh, thank you.
Don't worry, I'll pick her up. No problem. Also, David, I know this is the last thing you're gonna want to hear, but I really think you need to take a break. So after I bring her home, why don't I throw together a hot meal for the two of you? It'd be really good for Izzy to see you, even if it's only for a few hours. Well, after uh, Carol's friend gets here, maybe I'll come home for a while. Thanks for everything, Rachel. I'll see you around six. I just had dinner with them a few days ago. I mean, she had a little bit of a cold, but it seemed fine. I got your message about the rescheduling of John Price. I think that we need to have that meeting by the end of this week. Maybe I'll ask David if I should just do it myself. I mean, we are feeling the effects of losing the Rolf account. Uh, I'll ask him. Okay. Well, next time he calls, can you pass him on to me? Sure. Thank you. I'm not going to pass him on. I'll ask him and let you know what he says. Rachel, this is, this is delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Dad, could I please eat this in front of the TV? Um, okay, just this once. Be careful with the sauce. <laughs> <clears throat> the results from the spinal tap came back this afternoon. Carol's been diagnosed with encephalitis. Encephalitis. It's a bacterial infection. It's very rare in this part of the world. They, they think that she might have contracted it on our last cruise. One of the stopovers, we don't know. It causes blood clots and, well, if one gets to the brain, she could end up in a coma. Oh, that's horrible. Well, the doctor thinks that she might respond to the antibiotics, but there could be brain damage already. So it's a very critical time and I should really get back up there. Okay, is there anything that, that you need me to do? Well, Mary Beth should be here anytime, so if you could just get her up to speed on Isabel's stuff, that'd be great. Oh, of course, uh, I'll make sure and do that. Oh, uh, could you call John Price and Judith, please, and tell them tomorrow afternoon should be okay for the meeting. Mm -hmm. Mary Beth will be here, so I feel okay about leaving the hospital for a couple of hours. Thanks again, Rachel. That was terrific. Sure. He's back. He's I'll get it. Good spaghetti, right? Hi. Hi, you must be Mary Beth. Oh, you're Rachel, his secretary. It's nice to meet you. Actually, I'm his executive assistant. All right, I'm gonna show you a secret. Come over here. Hi, Isabel. She's just finishing up dinner. Oh, honey, what are you doing? It's not good to eat on television. Why don't you finish up the table? Oh, but I like the show. 
Go on, sweetie. I'll tape it. Take the care. Oh. You can watch it when you're done. I was hoping that maybe I could, you know, stay around and, and help Isabel with her homework. Oh, that's sweet of you. But I can help her. I do it with my kids all the time. Oh, but no, really, it, it's no trouble at all. No, it won't be necessary. But I appreciate the offer, though. That reminds me, David said you could help me find a nanny agency. I'm only going to be able to stay for a few days. Of course. Great. Sweetheart. But I don't want you to go. I don't like her. It's okay. Rachel has to go home to her own family, Isabel. I will see you very soon. Be good. I bought this. How many times have I told you not to eat my food, not to wear my shoes, and not to touch my things? You didn't say anything about juice. You don't listen. And stay off the third floor. That's my space. cases, patients may also experience permanent loss of hearing, vision, and speech. The disease can eventually cause brain damage and partial to full paralysis and require life support. Other complications include adrenal gland failure and kidney failure. Oh my god. Poor David. Oh, imagine having to watch your wife go through that. I just think you're better off with a boutique agency, John. You know, we have fewer clients, big fish in a small pond. But you know, you have strong competition. It won't be an easy decision. Grady Branson's pulling hard for our account. Well, Grady can talk a great game, but, I mean, will he give you personalized attention? I mean, that's a real question. Good morning, Rachel. Here's the financial report David wanted. Thank you. Is that the John Price meeting? Yes. Well, I hope it goes well. God knows we need that account after what happened with Gunderson Enterprises. We'll be lucky if we see a dime of that money they owe us. You think so? Well, I mean, we'll be okay if David and Judith land this Kirtland account. But, I mean, keep your fingers crossed. I will. Uh, so, uh, Rachel, uh, what about lunch? You promised me a rain check. That's true, I did. So, uh, I was thinking, I mean, if you're not busy, I mean, how about we check out that little French place just down the street? Oh, I'm sorry, Wally, I can't. With David in and out of the office so much, I really need to be here. Sure, <laughs> I understand. Uh, how about next week or something? Maybe. We'll just, we'll play it by ear? Of course. <laughs> Sounds good. As soon as I become Mrs. Westcott, I won't have to play these games anymore. John, thanks for coming in and meeting with us. My pleasure. You'll have Mr. Kirtland's decision once he gets back from Hong Kong next week. Great. David, uh, pardon me. So, how'd it go? Oh, uh, I think it went well. Listen, I'm going to run back up to the hospital and visit Carol. They're moving her out of intensive care. Oh, she's doing better? Well, the doctor said she's responding well to the antibiotics, but they don't know the extent of the damage yet. So. 
So they're optimistic. Cautiously optimistic, but they're keeping her sedated, and I think that'll give me a chance to get home tonight and visit Isabel. Oh, that's a good idea. Isabel will appreciate that. Take into account your cash equivalents right here. Pardon me. Wally, David went home, so I'll be staying late to finish up some work for him tonight. So will you do me a favor? Please do not turn off the copy machine or the copy pot. Sure. OK, thanks. <laughs> wow, what would David do without her? It's like her entire life is this job. Best waiting in the car for us, okay? Let's go. Can Rachel come with us? Well, Rachel has her own car. She'll meet us there. Oh, I'm sorry, Isabel. It's gonna get better. I promise. Okay. Let's go. Judith and Wally to come and see me when they have a minute, please. Of course. Would you like coffee or, or something? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sure. I don't understand it. It's been over a week. We haven't heard a thing. Kurtman must be back in New York by now. I put a call into Price and we haven't heard back. No rumors, nothing? Nope. Pardon me. I thought you might want to see this. in the phone. Hello, John Price's office. Hi, David Westcott for John Price, please. 
Oh, he's not in right now, and I don't expect him back until later today. Okay. Okay, could you leave word that I called? Um, I'll let him know. Thank you. All right. He's out. I think we should discuss what we're going to do if we don't get the account. I mean, this could mean layoffs, David. I don't even want to talk about that right now, Wally. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. trying that restaurant i heard it's pretty good no why do you ask well i just thought that maybe i could take you up on your lunch offer today if you don't have plans oh well, you're in luck <laughs> really are you serious well, at least that's what i heard from sona works for <laughs> oh wally you really know the scoop on everything don't you <laughs> mm, well oh, i guess i just pay attention so what's the deal with Grady Branson? I mean, other than he used to work for David and bailed for the VP position at the firm where he's now. Oh, well, I got along well with Grady, but... What? Oh, he was kind of a troublemaker. Oh, really? Oh. You know, I probably shouldn't say too much about it. Wally, it's me. Come on. Grady's a bit of a drinker. And at the Christmas party, he let it slip that he had a thing for Judith. But I mean, what guy doesn't, right? So anyways, a couple weeks later, I forgot something at the office late one night. So I went in, I saw the two of them in his office together. They were eating takeout. They were like inches apart from each other. I'm telling you, he had a way with women, that guy. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, I think they just called it quits after he left the company a month later for that other job. Did his wife ever find out? It doesn't seem like it. But listen, you can't tell anyone I told you. Wally, of course not. Thank you. Thank you? That's Rachel. What did you think of those nanny resumes I sent you? I was just looking at them. They look really good, Rachel. The one girl is coming to interview tonight at 6. I talked to her on the phone, and I really like her. Oh, the one from Romania? Yes. Ilana's her name. Uh, I hope she works out. I don't have much more time before I have to leave. Could you let David know I scheduled the interview? I think he'd like to be here for it. Of course. All right, well, let me know what happens. Will do. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, Mary Beth. Go back to your skinny, oppressed children. Rachel, could yes. you put my uh, calls together, please? I'm going to go home and work on the financials while I'm waiting for the new nanny. Absolutely. I 
should have something to say about this nanny if I'm the one who's gonna have to deal with her. David. Rachel, oh good, you're still there. Listen, uh, could you check my desk and see if I left the quarterly reports on there? I'll go in your office and check. Hold on. They're right here. Okay, great. Thank you. Could you have a messenger send them over? Sure. No problem. Right away. right away. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hi. I didn't want to waste money on a messenger, so I figured I'd just bring it myself. I was leaving anyway. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, Ilana, this is my assistant, Rachel. I figured that was you. We met on the phone. Yes. Love your resume. Yes. Oh, Dad, can Rachel stay for dinner? I don't see why not. Sure. Oh, mm. sweet. Come on, honey. I need your help in the kitchen. Okay, you go with Mary Beth. Well, let, let me walk you out, Alana. Yeah. Oh, there is one thing I have to mention. Uh, I've been trying for two years to get a visa uh, to bring my mother here on, on family visa. She has um, stage two cancer, and the medical care here is such better than where she lives now, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, anyway, it's just to say that I, I finally got an appointment with immigration, and it's on Thursday. 23rd, so I won't be available that day. That's fine. That's not a problem. I hope you get the visa. Oh, yeah. So we'll see you Monday. Yeah, thank you. So, Mary Beth, you're leaving tomorrow? Yes. I need to get back to work. But now that you have Ilana, I feel okay about leaving. What are you learning about in school, Isabel? Tell her about the homework we did last night. What were you making a collage of? Horses. Horses? That's my most favorite animal in the whole world. Really, me too, and bears. Oh, hey, have you ever ridden a horse? Well, actually, Carol and I talked about taking her to the animal park last year, but we thought it'd be better if we waited a year. You have to be careful. Horses can be dangerous. David, why don't we take her now? It would be so much fun. They, they have a petting zoo, and you can ride the ponies. It'd be so much fun. Dad, I want to go. Well, it might not be a bad idea. Maybe we'll, well, maybe we'll go sometime when Rachel's free. Tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, your daddy and I have to work tomorrow, but hey, David, what about Saturday? <sighs> okay, Saturday. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Rachel was watching it.
summer picnic. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Let's do our dance for mom. Come on. Let's put the camera down to the picnic table. Okay? Let's line it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Put it on the picnic table. This wasn't part of the dance. Come here. How did she? See the signal? Did you get that DVD? It's one of your boss's private home movies. Give me that. Okay, okay, let's get back. You have no right to come up here. How many times have I asked you to not snoop around in my stuff? You're obsessed with him. Just go downstairs now. It's not normal. I bet he doesn't know you took that. Enough. Out. Out. You have been acting totally weird about that guy ever since I moved in here. Fine. Fine, then move out. I don't want your hair anyway. I want someone that will help pay the rent. You want to kick me out? After my parents took you in when you had no one? I treated you like a sister. You owe me. My parents are the only reason you didn't go to a foster home. Nora, you drive me crazy. I hate you. I'm only trying to help you, Rachel. No guy is going to date you if you act like this. I don't want to date anybody, Nora. I'm going to marry David. That's crazy. You know, you better hope no one finds out about this wacko obsession you have with your boss. Oh. Oh. Well, cheers to mom. Cheers to mom. Great. Everyone's gonna see. I love you. Then you and I will be together. I love you too, mommy. They'll see. I love you. I love you too. You're the only one. You're the only nice one. Day. How's it going? Oh, great. I heard uh, that if David doesn't get this account, that they might be laying people off. Oh, I wouldn't worry, Laura. It's all going to work out. Now, that's your invite to the annual company dinner. We're having it at David's private club this year. Nice. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. David Westcott's office. I have John Price calling for Mr. Westcott. One moment, I'll put you through. David, John Price is on the line. Hi, John, how's it going? Good, David, thanks. John, I've got Judith with me. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone, just a moment. Hi, John. Hey, Judith. So I have good news. The deal's yours. That's terrific news. Mr. Kirtland wants to move things forward. Well, you know, I gotta tell you, we were a little worried when we didn't hear back. Thought you might have gone with Branson. Well, to be honest, of all the firms who considered, it was between you and them. But the decision ended up being easy when Grady Branson pulled out of the running this morning. He pulled out? Sure did. It was very close, though. We're confident you guys will do a great job. Well, you tell Mr. Kirtland he's in good hands. <laughs> I will. He'd like to meet with you and Judith in New York next Friday, have lunch at Tavern on the Green, and then go to the office. You can stay at the Alliance Park Hotel. Mr. Kirtland has a corporate suite there. So, can you make it up? Absolutely. Great. I'll let his office know. All right. Thanks, John. Talk to you soon. <sighs> we did it. Thank God. <laughs> you know, that's really weird about Grady, though, don't you think? Oh, I stopped trying to figure that guy out a long time ago. <sighs> okay, we, we got to celebrate. Yeah. You're buying, I'm drinking. Thank you. I'll go get my purse. 
Good news. I got the Kirtland account. <gasps> Get your things. We're going to Lanson's to celebrate. Give Wally a call for me, please. before you went to bed. Yeah. Hey, Rachel's sitting beside me. Would you like to say hi? Okay. Okay, just a minute. Hey, Isabel. Hey, I'm so excited about the horses. Oh, I'm so excited also. We're gonna have so much fun tonight. Daddy too? And Daddy too, yep. See you in the morning. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Is he? Yeah. Okay, good night, honey. I love you. Daughter's a sweetheart. How's she been doing since? It's tough. It's been very tough, but she's she's warming up to the nanny. Thank God. Ilana. I just don't know how she's going to react when she finds out I have to stay overnight in New York next week. She's probably going to have a fit. Why doesn't she come along? Has she been to New York? Yeah, a few times. She loves Central Park. Yeah, we could take her down to Little Italy and, and get pizza. It'll, it'll be fun. Um, no, I, wouldn't you be too busy to take care of her? That's I, a great I, idea. I think that, that she might end up disappointed. No, oh, that's an excellent idea. Okay, when you make the arrangements next Monday, mm -hmm. order another hotel room for Ilana and two additional train tickets. celebrating here. Let me guess. Judith just got married. No? Hell hasn't frozen over yet? I've got it. You're the new face of Kirtland Holdings. You must be very proud. Grady, what's with you? This was low, Judith. Even for you. I'm sorry? I guess you'll do whatever it takes to get ahead. No boundaries, right? Hey, you know, I don't know what you're talking about, but you better leave my colleague alone. She'll stop at nothing this one. I'm surprised you didn't hop right into bed with Kirtland. Would have accomplished the same thing. How dare you? All right, you know what? You better leave before I call the manager. Please. What was that about? Oh, how bizarre. Uh, hey, guys, what do you say uh, we check to see if that table's ready? Huh? Yeah, let's not nice. let this ruin our evening. Come on, Judy. Rachel. something I've been wanting to say. The past few weeks, you've really stepped up for me. And you've been far more than an assistant. You've, you've been a real friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, i do what I can. Thank you. Yeah, it's a he, and that's a workhorse. It's called a Clydesdale. Beautiful His wagons, big yeah. Feet. It's big feet. <laughs> yes. He has long hair. I would name it Ray. <laughs> oh, there's so few in me. My daddy says I could have one. Let's see. Yeah. Why don't I believe you? 
No, it's, it's just that this is the kind of thing that Carol really enjoyed. She mentioned coming here a few months ago. I don't know why we didn't. <clears throat> Too busy, I guess. David, you shouldn't feel badly. I know that Carol thought you were a fantastic husband. I made some big mistakes. I, I always thought that you just... Well, in your 30s and 40s, you know, you, you work your butt off, you grow your business, and then in your 50s, you do the things that you always wanted to do as a couple. I mean, you couldn't have predicted what was going to happen. This is terrific. You know. It's a good idea, and you're very good with her. I could learn a thing or two about kids from you. Yeah. I'm naming her Mrs. Moon. Oh, I think that's a great name for her. It is. Bye, Ray. Bye, Harry. <laughs> Harry. This is a fun day. Good. And maybe we can do it when we get back from New York. Can Rachel come to New York with us? Well, honey, Rachel's got to work at the office, but maybe sometime. But I want to show her the park. You had fun, huh? Don't worry, honey. We'll go to New York together very soon. Dobra, please. Ilana Dobra speaking. And yeah, Ms. Dobra, this is Patricia McMillan from the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services. Calling to confirm the appointment you made regarding your mother tomorrow. S uh, sorry, tomorrow? No, no, no. My appointment, it's on Thursday, 23rd at 10. No, no, Ms. Dobra, your appointment is scheduled for tomorrow at 4. You didn't receive our notice regarding the date change. No, my God. Uh, I'm so glad you called me because I'm supposed to be in New York tomorrow. Well, if this time doesn't work for you, we do have some available times in about three months. No, no, it works. I will just tell my boss that I cannot go to New York, that's all. Please be sure that I will be there tomorrow at four, okay? And thank you very much for calling. All right, we'll see you then.
you guys some coffee. Oh, Rachel, that's nice. Thank and you. Cappuccino for you. Thank right. you, Rachel. It's pretty thoughtful. Perfect timing. David, do you want me to continue holding your calls? Ah, uh, yes. We'll be another half hour. Okay. She's excited about her big trip to New York. Sorry, David. All right. Well, feel better. Thanks. Bye. Bye. David, it's 7 o'clock. How, how much longer are you going to be here? Oh, I'm almost done. That was uh, Judith, by the way. She's feeling really sick. She won't be able to make it. Oh, poor Judith. I'll do the lunch by myself. You can go ahead and cancel her train ticket. All right, Ilana called. She wants you to call her as soon as you can. Okay. I'll do that right now. Hello? Ilana? Yes. It's David. Oh. Hi. Mr. Westcott, my mother's appointment was changed. I oh. cannot go to New York. Okay. I'm sorry, but she needs me. I hope you don't mind. No, I understand completely. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good luck with the appointment. Bless you, Mr. Westcott. Okay, bye. Oh, when it rains, it pours. What do, you, what do you mean? Some mix-up with the appointment for her mother at immigration. She can't go to New York. Oh. So I'm going to have to find a sitter and call Isabel and tell her that she can't go. Oh, Dave. David, why don't I go to New York with you? I could take care of Isabel while you're meeting with Kirtland, and that way she can still go. I know that you said that you need me here, but this is really a crucial time for Isabel right now. That might work. That, that might work. It's ironic because I think she wanted you to go in the first place. <laughs> I know. Okay. You're going to New York. Well, good. I'm glad I could help. Well, let me see. Uh, the girls can stay in that room, and the boy stay in that room. Oh, this is such a great idea. She's thrilled. She's excited. Listen, I should probably uh, freshen up and get going. I'm going to meet Kirtland at his office, and then we'll go to lunch from there. I wanted to give you this for cab money and for food and for whatever else you two get up to. And there's the key. Thanks. And what time should we meet you back here? I should be back with four or five. And then, I guess it's just the three of us this evening. Okay. Wait, so can <gasps> we go to the park now? We can do anything you want. What do you think? I think this park is a little bigger than the one by my house. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> you're very smart, you know that? <laughs> you know what? I want to tell you something. 
Come here, sit down for a second. I want you to know that you are my very favorite little girl in this entire solar system. Really? Yeah. And I think of you, well, I think of you as if you were my very own daughter. You know what else? I'll tell you something else. We have to keep it secret, okay? When I was little, I lost my mommy too. I miss her. Yeah, I know you do. I lost my mommy and my daddy at the same time. Did you cry? Yep. Especially when I moved in with my aunt and my uncle and my cousin Nora. I cry sometimes. You know what? If you feel like crying because you miss your mommy, you can call me. And I'll tell you a joke. And you'll laugh and laugh really hard, OK? Because you can't laugh and cry at the same time. Did you have fun today? Did you have fun at Central Park? Good. Good day. Oh, by the way, thanks for beating me at cards. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, Dad. Good night, Rachel. Good night, Katie. More champagne? Congratulations on a job well done. Glad to have you on the team. Kyle Kirtland. That's so nice. It sure is. And... I'm glad to have you on my team. You're always there for us. Rachel. Rachel. What? You okay? Yes. Hey, by the way, I've got something for you. Just a little gift. Oh. Well, what is this for? Oh, well, it's to thank you for, well, for being such a lifesaver for Isabel and I, and for taking care of her helping Mary Beth coming up here. Oh, my God. Uh, it, it's no trouble at all. Well, listen, people like you are hard to find, people who care so much. And most people just want to go in, do their time, and get out, but not you. I mean, you really do care about Isabel, about us, about the company. I do. Well, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate it. So I was walking down Madison Avenue this afternoon, and I saw this in a window, and I thought, Rachel will love that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Told me how much you like watches. something that you would like to wear. Oh, gosh. Well, it fits perfectly. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. did something or said something to make you think that I, I'm, I, ju I just, I don't know what to say. Well, no, you don't have to say anything. I, it, it's, it's my fault. Rachel, I meant everything I said. You're a good person, a true professional, a good friend. But I still love my wife. Yeah, I, I know you do. 
I... I don't know what I was thinking. You have to understand. I do. I do, David. I, I understand. I'm gonna uh, go to bed. Good morning. Good morning. David, uh, about last night, uh, champagne tends to, to make me... Uh, I mean, I, I don't want you to Rachel, think that... Uh, you don't have to. Uh, we've all been under a lot of stress. It's been a tough month. Yes, it has. Uh, I know we were supposed to go back today, but I think that... Isabel and I will stay another night, do the father-daughter thing, and then see the museums or something. Oh, I, that that'll that'll be really good. I, I think that Isabel will really enjoy having you all to herself. Well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but I just I think well, she and I haven't really had a chance to talk since Carol passed away. So. Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, I I promised my cousin I would I would go with her to Atlantic City anyway. So. Um, it all works out perfectly. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, sweetie. Oh, how's my big girl? Good. Mm, come on. Can I have some breakfast? Well, I want to show you something first. What? Okay. Have you ever seen the Central Park from this high up? old movies too. Oh god, this is so much better than dating in person. Virus alert? Not again. Oh. Hmm. But I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to. She'll kill me. Now, Philly guy, I'm coming. <sighs> Sorry, Rachel, but Philly guy's waiting. you doing? 
doing? I know you're gonna want to kill me, but um, what are you up to in here? I was just here for a sec. My computer had a virus attack. I told you never to come up here. I told you never to come up here. I'm sorry. It'll never happen again. You, you don't listen, you stupid bitch. Don't, don't call me names, Rachel. You're the most disrespectful person I have ever met. I said I'm sorry. God, I hate you, Nora. Stop it. It's not like I broke it or anything. That is not the point, Nora. Hey, don't walk away from me. I'm not done talking to you. You have always been mean to me, even as kids. We took you in, Rachel. We treated you like family. No, you treated me like I was an outsider, like I was beneath oh, you. That's not true. I always tried to be your best friend, but I am done. Hey, Nora, you're just a very unhappy person, Rachel. You're not normal. Look at you, with your stupid little dollhouse and your delusions about your boss. That is not true. David loves me. He just can't see it because, because I'm his employee. <sighs> Stop it. He will love me. He can't see me as a woman because I work for him. Face it, Rachel. That man will never love someone like you. Not after he gets to know you the way I do. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. He will never love you. Never, 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 Shut up. never, 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 never. Oh! Oh! to David's nanny? Yes. I told David I would help him out by tracking Eileen's hours to make sure she gets paid. Okay. So I called to confirm that she didn't work at all that Friday because that was the day that David was taking his daughter to New York. Right. She couldn't go because she had some immigration appointment for her mother. Except there wasn't one. Turns out whoever called from immigration told her that her appointment had moved to Friday was wrong. She gets down there Friday afternoon to find out that her appointment was still on this Thursday. And nobody has any idea who could have called her. She was upset that it cost her two days of work. Okay, I mean, that's strange, but what does this have to do with Rachel? Then I started thinking about this trip to New York. How Rachel got to go because Elena couldn't. You know, maybe she's the one that called. You think that Rachel called Elena and pretended that she was from immigration so that she could have a trip to New York? That's crazy. I know it sounds unbelievable, but I mean, come on, you've seen her. I mean, she, she seems so involved with everything that David does. Yeah, but still. Come on, Judith, you, you don't find it just a little bit weird that you were both supposed to go to New York? Rachel wasn't, and then somehow you couldn't and she did. Yeah, but there's no way she could have known that I was going to be sick. Yeah, that's true. No. That 
wouldn't be possible. What? No, it's just ridiculous. What? Well, I was just gonna say that I got sick after the cappuccino that Rachel brought me on Thursday night. <laughs> Do you really think she'd go that far? Oh, who knows? I mean, there's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense. What if she was the one who had something to do with that mysterious email that Grady Branson accused me of sending? Well, maybe you should talk to David about that. Yeah, maybe I should. Oh, I think you may be busy right now. David, I need to talk to you about Rachel. Look, I, I don't want to accuse her of anything, but don't you think this is all a little bit coincidental? No, Judith, you, you might be right. Things didn't... Well, there was a moment in New York Look, thanks for bringing it to my attention. I'll, I'll handle it. Rachel, can I see you in my office, please? Of course. David, they're, they're trying to destroy me, accusing me of those things. No, Rachel. A lot of things just don't add up over the past few weeks. Now listen, I think whatever could have happened is because you have a different understanding of our relationship. I think you have expectations of me that I can't fulfill. No, 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 that, that's not true. I, I mean, I, I misread things at the hotel, but that, that's all fine. I mean, everything can go back exactly the way it was. No, I think that you being my assistant is not gonna work under the circumstances. I think it's better for everyone that we don't work together. You're firing me? I'd like you to tender your resignation. I'll give you three months severance. You're very good at what you do. I'm sure you'll find a great job. This isn't the place. But David, I am the best assistant that you've ever had. Nobody cares about you like I do, and Isabel, and, and the company. The... You said so yourself. I know, Rachel. This was a very tough decision. Believe me. It's just for the best. What about Isabel? Isabel will be fine, and I appreciate everything you did to help her. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
He fired me so that I could date him and not being an employee. What was I thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> been a real friend. I don't know what I'd do without you. <sighs> Letting me go is the smartest thing you ever did. It's all gonna work out fine. I have a birthday gift for Isabel for this weekend. Rachel, Isabel's I... asleep right now. Alana had a difficult time putting her down tonight. Oh, I know it's too late to, to see her. Well, I'll, that's fine. I'll give this to her in the morning. Thank you. Well, David, I actually I wanted to, to talk to you, too. If that's ever the case, I'd prefer that you call first and not just show up at my house. I know. I'm sorry. I, I just had to, to say that... I know why you fired me today. I, I mean, after what happened with Judith and, and Grady, I know that, that you had to set a good example and everything. And and after, you know, now that, that I'm no longer at Westcott, now we can see each other in normal care. And it'll give us a brand new start. Seeing each other? Okay. I know that, okay, I'm going about this all wrong, I think, but, David, I, I just I hate these games. And I, I'm, I'm gonna come straight out and say it. I love you. And I know, I know that you love me too, deep down. Rachel, stop. Do you think I fired you because I wanted to date you? Well, yeah. I don't want to date you, Rachel. I just lost my wife. I loved Carol. Well, I, I know, David, but you can love again. I will never love you, Rachel. Never. I, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I need to be very clear with you. You don't work for me anymore. I don't want you to show up at my house. You need to get a job. You need to move on with your life. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. You don't have a choice. Nothing's ever gonna happen between us. Now, please. Please.
Excuse me, everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to congratulate you all on the current body counts. I hope you all have a great dinner tonight, and I'm glad we can be together. Congratulations. Continued success. Closing the door behind me. Mm -hmm. Judith, what the hell is Rachel doing here? Oh, God. Hi. <clears throat> Rachel. Beautiful table. Could I uh, speak to you outside, please? <laughs> what, are you going to tell me that I'm not welcome? No, I, I'd love to speak to you. Finally. Don't touch me. I'm not leaving David. Wait. Hey, Rachel, what are you doing? Oh, relax. Put the gun down. I deserve to be here more than any of these people. Okay, put the gun down, Rachel, please. Sit down, David. You know, none of you people would be here if it weren't for me. If Grady Branson had won the Kirtland account, which he would have, you'd all be eating gas station sandwiches in the unemployment line right now. Rachel, let's talk about this inside. Why don't you tell them, David? Tell them that if they work hard for you and they do everything for you, you'll be so appreciative that they'll wind up getting canned. Rachel, please. Please what, Judith? You've done enough damage already. All right, leave now. Shut up, I'm in charge. You know, most of you don't know David as well as I do. So you don't know that David has made many mistakes. Rachel, we'll listen to whatever you have to say. Just put the gun down, please. Stop talking, please. Oh, okay, where was I? Um, oh yes, David's mistakes. Why don't you tell them what you told me, David, about your wife? How you neglected her and your daughter so that you could spend all of your time at work. And see, I would have been perfect for you because I understand how important the business is. <laughs> I wouldn't have demanded your time. I wouldn't have made you feel guilty. Rachel, this isn't about them. You're mad at me. Oh, after everything I did for you. <laughs> I took care of your daughter when you didn't have the first clue what to do. I came into the office every day for the last three years just to make your life easier. Rachel, and all those things were great. But you didn't notice how important I was in your life or to the entire company. But Judith and Wally were jealous and they wanted to destroy it. Hey, stupid, put that down. Okay, Rachel, you want your job back? Is that it? You, you can get your job back. It's not a problem. Oh, oh, now you want me back. It's a little late for that. You've been poisoned by them. You should have seen what I could have offered you. All right, listen, this is a beautiful place. We're all sitting down to have dinner. Please join us. My life is over because of you, David. I don't know. I just don't see how it's fair that your life should continue. OK, wait. Think about Isabel. She's she's already lost a parent. She'll survive. I lost both my parents. I turned out fine. Now you. You need to know that David and I are going to be together in the afterlife. You are going to hell for all the lies that you told him about me. Rachel. Oh, shut up. 
Wally, call 911. Yeah. Somebody open the door. Someone's been shot. Don't make me live without you. Please hurry. Oh, open Steven. the door. I need you. Excuse me, one time. David, I can't describe how much I miss you. And of course, Isabel, too. The almost overwhelming pain I feel being away from you fades away to sweet thoughts and warm feelings when I know that you and I, my love, are destined to be with each other. It won't be long, David. So you and I are together forever.